what's up y'all it's your girl queen season night and back with another video y'all i had to change the background the other background it was cool but it just was not given like i just love the blue background so i just had to bring it back <laughs> you know just to get things back together so if this is your first time here over on queen c's tv honey i am queen c's but make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also make sure that you like this video y'all i'm always getting tongue-tied every time i come over here to do a video but this video is for all my girlies that were asking me for an affordable fragrance video so y'all know yes i'm kind of like girl with the tea sometimes my stuff is on the high end and then sometimes my stuff is on the low end okay so y'all know for all of my deep perfumes or affordable perfumes that i like to go to dacia now this video is not sponsored okay i bought all of this with my own coins and dacia if you are watching uh hit your girl up okay y'all get a little free promotion but no y'all <laughs> so if you want to know what fragrances i got i got some different stuff than what i usually get just so i can really test it out and see what it smell like see what it's giving see if i can switch it up y'all know how i like to do so stay tuned and i will let you know what i think If you have never gotten any fragrances from Dossier, basically they come like this. It comes in this little box. So once you open it, it has a little message inside. And also it comes with a little card. So with this card, it basically tells you what your fragrance is and it gives you the notes and also what it is inspired by. So oh did i show y'all that hold on i don't even know if i showed y'all what it looked like in here so it comes in these little bottles and i'm gonna show y'all closer oh it comes in these little bottles super cute um they are all 1.7 ounces so i really like to travel with these and y'all know i like smelling good everywhere so i usually take one and i leave one in my car and then i take one to work so you know you know you might have to <laughs> so this first one that i got is called floral marshmallow so this is inspired by killian's love don't be shy old day perfume now if any of the girls are familiar with killian their uh fragrances start off at like 250 dollars uh yeah we will rock with the dossier honey it smells good but yeah 250 dollars for a bottle of perfume is just a bit much the queen seats okay so the notes the top notes in this are marshmallow neroli and bergamot the middle notes are orange blossom honeysuckle jasmine orris and the base notes are amber vanilla and a musk okay y'all know i love any fragrance that has musk in it and y'all i think that i'm I'm like, a, I'm a fruity girl, but I feel like I'm turning into a gourmand girl. I'm really thinking I'm turning into a, you know, a gourmand. So, I can't smell nothing. I had these little tabs, so let me give this two nice little sprays and let it air out and see what it's giving. I mean, y'all know that I always had it. I'm just going to have to spray it on myself. I just need to know. I just need to know what it's giving on me, okay? So, on a spray on the little tip, I, it says smells light marshmallow, but I smell more of the amber and the musk. So, let me see what it's giving on here. Oh, wow. This this smells really good like this smell like this smell like rich auntie like oh girl it's giving it's giving brunch with your girls like 
This smell like where the money reside. This smell like where the money reside. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's definitely, whoo. You gonna smell like where the money reside with this. So, I mean, if you're a girl and you wanna go ahead and spend your coin on the killing your love, don't be shy. Go ahead and get that. But this right here, the floral marshmallow from Dossier, it is giving what was supposed to be gave. And on top of that, y'all, they said, Rihanna wears this scent. And if y'all know, everybody always Google, what did Rihanna smell like? They said Rihanna smells like heaven. It's giving heaven. The next fragrance that I got from Dossier is, let's see, is Floral Grapefruit. So, this is inspired by Chanel. <laughs> This ain't Chanel. So, y'all, it was inspired by Chanel. Chance or the tender or the perfume. So, y'all, this, no, is like one of my favorite. I actually have this perfume. This is one of my favorites. This just smells so heavenly. This is how I caught my man. I'm trying to tell y'all. He was like, he used to be like, oh, oh you smell so good. Oh, you smell so good. What you got on? What you got on? This is chanel so y'all already know that chanel costs a pretty penny so you know when i can save ch ch spraying my chanel baby i'm gonna be giving the girls floral grapefruit okay this is what i'm gonna be spraying instead of my chanel so let me get out of those you probably like y'all probably like this girl is crazy if you're thinking that this girl is crazy hit that like button period okay so, the top notes in this are grapefruit, pear, and black currant. The middle notes are hyacinth, that's a flower, jasmine, and lilac. And the base note is orris, musk, and amberwood. So, let me see if this is given. Oh, y'all, hey, this is my favorite fragrance, baby. I might not be re when the when the sh I be trying to preserve my Chanel. So, when this run out, I might not be buying. Chanel again. I'm gonna be getting this. Oh yes, I smell it already. This is like a really light feminine. This is a fresh scent. So y'all know I like to tell the grass where to wear this scent to. This is a really, really, really fresh scent. So let me say some fresh scents that I like is Mason Margiela's like bubble bath. Like it just give light, like just feminine just flourishing in your you know just you know just beauty womanly woman scent this is also a great scent that i'm aware to work because it's not too loud it's not loud to where people are like oh what do you have on but it's nice and soft and sweet enough for people to say mm, you smell really good you smell really fresh what are you wearing yo everywhere i go every time i've been going on people always like what do you have on? What do you have on? What do you have on? The girls is always wanting to know what Queen Steve have on. But I also don't wear the same perfume every day. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I can't be leaving my scent all over the place. You know? But y'all, this is that girl. If you need a light, beautiful, fresh, womanly smelling scent, then this is your girl. And y'all, oh, I didn't even tell y'all, all these fragrances are only like $29. So I think that's the biggest part of it all. <laughs> These are twenty nine dollars. I think the highest may be like thirty nine or forty nine, but all of the fragrances that I got are twenty nine dollars. Okay. <laughs> the next fragrance, y'all, and I'm just blindly picking these. I got six fragrances in a candle, so we almost after this we'll be halfway through. Period. So this one is wood, woody sage. So this is inspired by Joe Malone's Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt Cologne. So y'all know that the Joe Malone fragrances are um, unisex. So the top notes of this are fig tree, grapefruit. The middle notes are marine notes, amberette, and the base notes are clary sage and amberwood. So I actually got a sample of this from Sephora. And I was kind of on the fence with it. I didn't really like it. And then I was like, I just was like, okay, just spray it on yourself and see if you actually like it. And it kind of grew on me. So, I definitely want to know what the Woody Sage is giving from Dossier. 
$29. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm a high class girl. But I love a sale, honey. So, let's see what she is giving. If it's... Okay, yeah. This definitely smell like the original. Yes. Yes. Woo! This is another one, y'all. This is... I'm just put on my a little bit on myself. This is also I know that you get like woody sage and you think that it is strong, but I will also put this in the category with the like with a Chanel chance. It's enough for someone to stop you and be like, hmm, what do you have on? But it's not overpowering or strong for you to be like, ugh, you know. So you definitely do smell like the sage, but I I just can't, y'all, it's not overpowering at all. It's just like a really light sage. So I can see how this is also, you know, unisex. I can see a man wearing this and he would just smell like a fresh smelling man, like fresh out the shower. And also for a woman, I feel like this would be a great scent for the summertime. It gives like, just like, you know how it's hot outside and you just like get the whiff of somebody like walking past you in the heat. And I feel like this is really going to give in the summer. So, I think y'all should try this one out. Y'all know, y'all know my nose is on point. I be, I be putting the grass on. I be putting the grass on. So, this is another one that you guys should get. Okay? <laughs> get this. It's inspired by Joe Malone, but it's called Woody Sage. You're going to love it. Believe me. The next fragrance that we got up is oh god <clears throat> one of my favorites i told y'all girls about this this is inspired by mark jacobs perfect oh the oh the perfume so i told y'all i feel like <laughs> i feel like saying like boosty daughter i told y'all i told y'all this right here so on dossier it is called I'm getting a little bit too excited and I need to chill. Steve's chill. Okay. So this is floral rhubarb. Okay. Period. So the top notes are rhubarb, orange blossom, and peach. The middle notes are daffodil, milky accord, and narcissus. And the base notes are cedarwood, blonde woods, and musks. I know I be telling y'all everything is my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. Mark Jacobs Perfect is one of my favorite scents in the world. And I love that this one is only $29, honey. So I can spray it as much as I want. I can spray it all in my car. I can spray it everywhere that I want to spray it. But I definitely want to see if this is giving the original scent a perfect period. Because, I mean, for $29, <laughs> baby, we got to get this. Yes, it is. Yo. Y'all ask for the dupes. Dossier. Their fragrances are spot on. I can still, look, yo, I can, for me spraying it. It's just coming up. This is literally a scent that you can wear anytime, anytime, any place. <laughs> Yo, this be the one. I wear this literally everywhere. On the work, on the plane, in the bed, on date night. If I'm going out my home, girls. And everybody always say, oh my gosh, you smell so good. Yo, when it kind of smelling good, I'm going to just put a little bit of this on me because I'm going to go out anyway. Girl, everybody going to be all up in my face. Make sure when y'all spray y'all perfume, and that's another thing, like people be trying to preserve this perfume. Spray your perfume. When I spray, I go chirp, 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 chirp. Chirp, chirp. So, you know, I just spray everywhere. Like, I just spray everywhere. Or I spray it and I'll 
walk through it. Then make sure I spray my coat. I spray everything. I like everything is gonna. If I leave my coat, so I'm like, mm, who coat is that? When I walk past you, oh my goodness, who is that? Spray everything, okay? I spray my hair. Spray everything, okay? Don't be like you say. Uh, well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me clarify. Don't spray every scent like that. If you got like a fresh, clean scent, then spray it everywhere, okay? Then don't be coming, okay, with Chanel number no. five or Mademoiselle by Chanel. Spraying that every, don't do that. You just need a squish of that, okay? Scents like that, you just need a squish. And then you go, okay? So, let me clarify. <laughs> don't go spray everything like that. How I told y'all to be spraying it all crazy. Okay, don't do that. So, next up, we have Citrus Ginger, okay? So, this one is inspired by, again, we have another Chanel fragrance. So, this is, child, it don't want to come out the box. Hold on. This is Citrus Ginger, so it's inspired by Blue Day Chanel, or, you know, like the black people call it, Chanel Blue. So, <laughs> when we say Blue Day Chanel, it's Chanel Blue. So, okay, the top notes in this, I need to get, I need to get serious. Okay, the top notes in this is Peppermint, Lemon, and Ginger. The middle notes are Vetiver, Pink Pepper, and Nutmeg. And the base notes are sandalwood and, and cedarwood. So I got this for Drew. I, did I get this for Drew or did I get this for myself? Because I may have gotten this for him for Christmas. But I really can't remember. I really don't remember. But anyway. All, this be having all the girlies in a tinge. But also y'all. I wear cologne too sometimes. Sometimes I mix my perfume with cologne. Because it smells good. Especially in the summertime. It just leave a lasting scent. People be like ooh who that. And I be like. It's me. So, a cologne that I wear pretty much, I'm not going to say every day, but I do layer it in a lot of my stuff, is um, Valentino. The one that's in the black and pink spiky bottle. Which one? Is, what is it? I don't remember the name of what that's called, but I wear that. That's like my scent. Like, it's like my scent. So, let me smell this blue. Oh, wow. Mmm. Andrew might not be getting this because this smells good. Don't cologne just make you want to just... It just make you want to melt. So for my male followers, y'all better go on Dossagate. If you're new to getting cologne and you just want to try some scents out, like I told y'all, a lot of the men fragrances, some of them are like $19, $29, $39, $49 if you're getting stuff like Creed and all that type of stuff. But if you want to walk over to Chanel Blue for $29, like, come on now. And y'all know Drew not really into all of the stuff like that. So this is what I be getting him until he knows, learns how to appreciate a good fragrance. <laughs> but, but no, y'all. This, ladies, get this for your man, okay? And don't. Leave him at home, you know? No Beyonce, ladies and your man at home. Don't leave him at home and don't be letting him go out with his boys with this on. Because they going to be all, huh, what is that you got on? And you had to come like, I think you better get the stepping sis. Hey, y'all, the very last fragrance, Okay. We have is Floral Sandalwood, okay? So, this is inspired by Mason Cardesian. I don't know his name. Y'all know the guy who made Baccarat. The band who has everybody in the hole with Baccarat. So, this is Amorous Straight Day Parfum. So, I feel like I got a sample of this and I liked it, but I'm not really sure because I think I bought a... um. What is it called when they give you all of the things? But it gave me like every single fragrance that he made. And I think I marked off which ones I liked and which ones I didn't like. And it was only like two that I liked. I think that this was one, but I'm really not sure. So this is one I'm here to test out. <laughs> but anyway, so the top notes of this are pear, tangerine, flower, and violet. 
Middle notes are Amorous, Oris, and Jasmine. Base notes, Vetiver, Musks, Amber, and Set. Okay, already this got a lot going on. So I don't know. But I might. Because all the other fragrances that I, you know, reviewed pretty much had the same base. But I'm just like really going to have to... I really just went ahead to test this one out because I really can't remember if... And I'm going to spray it over here because... I'm... Y'all. I do not like Baccarat. I don't. I'm just eating it. I don't like it. So. Off top. This reminds me of my great great aunt Frances. I would have to like this one out, y'all. Because... I don't think so. I don't think I don't think I like his stuff because Yeah, this this remind me of my Aunt Frances, my great 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 Aunt Frances. God rest her soul. Like oh, hell no. Um Yeah, that's just not doing it. That's not doing it for me. Oh my gosh. Yo, oh my goodness, yo, this smell just like my Aunt Frances' room. So, I don't know what she used to wear, but this smells like that. And it's bringing back everything. She, if she used to have these little muskrat furs, just... Uh. But I keep sniffing it, right? They remind me of her. Oh my God, yo. I'm freaking out. This just gave me a blast from the past. So, this is floral sandalwood. To give y'all a really honest review, it smelled like my great, great, great Aunt Frances. It's like, no. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this, y'all, because it, it literally smells like my Aunt Frances, and I don't know how to describe this. Like. I guess I don't know maybe it has to air out for a really 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 long time because the more I'm sniffing it I don't know if my nose is getting used to it or if it's starting to smell good like you know how some fragrances just need to like settle out this is definitely something I would not spray more than two sprays of this on like don't like if you sp I know they tell you don't do like rub your stuff on you but this is one that you can rub on you because it is very strong so you only need one to two sprays of this and this will most likely probably be something that you would spray and walk through off top am i keeping this i'm not i'm gonna give this to my grandma <laughs> i'm giving this to my grandma and not that not that i'm giving my grandma something that stink but you know how some fragrances are just more aged and for the 70 and above club and you know for that them and their home girls they be like oh you smell good the, yeah maybe or maybe it just smelled too rich for my nose i don't know which one is i don't know if it smelled too rich you know what i'm saying because my great 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 aunt francis was that girl you know they was she was that girl okay that's the duchess okay so maybe this is just a bit too rich for me but yeah i don't know now that it's starting to settle out it's starting to smell like I can kind of smell like the tangerine in it, but then it kind of smell like baby powder, tangerines. You smell all the woods. I think it's just probably that it's just too much going on for me. Like, it's loud. I don't like loud. I like, I like subtle, but you know, like, yeah. this is like, <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. I'm still. I'm gonna give this to my grandmother. Um, or I'm gonna give it. Or I'm gonna give it to my mom and say my mom like it, but she probably won't. But um, yeah, y'all. So, oh wait, I got one more. Hold on. Last but not least. No, this is the least. This is the last one. Last, last. Now everybody go try breakfast. Okay. So I got a candle, y'all, because they also sell candles. So, I had to buy a candle. I love candles. And it says love at first match. So, alright, hold on, let me not sniff it. Okay, so, this candle is actually, 
inspired by Dior's Sauvage. Y'all know this fragrance has the guys in a chokehold. Like, fellas, find another fragrance, okay? But stick to Sauvage. But, this is called Aromatic Star Anise. So, top notes are bergamot, pepper, and star anise. The middle notes, lavender, nutmeg, and geranium. And the base notes are patchouli, am amberwood, and vetiver. So, y'all, this is another, this one of them fragrances. This guy drew in a chokehold, too. And I, ugh, child, I been by, I been trying to just deliver him from Savage. But he loves it so much. And I just be like, please, ugh, stop. <laughs> yo, he will watch this video. Like, yo, get you. So this is what it looked like. It is 14 ounces, of course. Okay, so this is good, environmentally friendly. It's a coconut and soy blend candle. So of course I had a warning, y'all. This smells so good. It do. I ain't gonna lie, Savage do smell good, but I think t t people just wear it so much. It's like it's so many other nice smelling colognes, like branch out. You know, start expanding your palette for fragrance this my light it's seven o'clock on the side and my trap top cruise in the streets mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is definitely giving a burn in the shower or the tub you know the Get the boo coin. Let me get a get this, y'all. <laughs> get this. Th get this. This is really nice. I'm actually really excited to burn this. This is really nice. And it's a big, nice size candle. So y'all know that um mahogany teakwood has me in a hole from Bath and Body Works. So it's gonna be nice for me to not burn that. And I'm actually gonna burn this one. And this one is a soy candle, so it's more environmentally friendly. They do have other um, candles on there, but I just wanted to try this one out and see how it is and how it burn and all that good stuff. Oh, hold up, y'all. I got my, hold up. I got my ghetto little cookout lighter. Oh, oh, it don't work. Don't, I was about to say, don't embrace me on YouTube, please. So, hold on, get ready. Let's see how it light. Okay, light good. Come on. I was going to tell things like, why y'all here embarrassing me in these YouTube streams? So I'm glad, if, I don't know, can y'all see? I told y'all when I bought them candles from somebody else, the wick was burning all crazy. So I like that. I like how these burn. So these are going to burn nice and real good. Oh, hold on. Oh, why I did that? Y'all, I'm crazy. I do the smoke just all coming up in the camera. Anyway, y'all. That's all I got for y'all. I ain't got no more. If you like this review, if you want to check out some of these fragrances, make sure that y'all go to Dossier's website. I wish that I had a code or a coupon code or something for y'all, but y'all probably could find my own with one of the other YouTubers that's sponsored. I wasn't. I bought this with my own money because I actually really like this company. So... Make sure y'all go check out y'all some fragrances. Get y'all some hot grass fragrances. And yeah, it's time for us to be outside. Also, fellas, make sure y'all go on there and pick up some colognes and stuff like that. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.